JobTread is built in such a customizable way where we want to support your current business practices and workflows. So one thing that we need to consider when we're setting up JobTread is where do we want to track our customers and our sales pipeline and also our job phases? There's a couple options, so let's take a look. Within JobTread, we have the customer directory and then we have the jobs directory. In the customer directory, this is going to list all of your leads and customers in one place. Now, it could be helpful to track your entire relationship with the customer leading up to a job where you're building an estimate here in the customer directory. And so if you create a new customer, add in all the customer account details, you can also create a location with that customer, that would be the job site, then they're going to land in your customer directory. Within the customer account, then you can have one or multiple jobs associated with that customer. So we've often seen where people will add a customer account, they'll track all of the qualifying information with that customer in the account, and then when they're ready and they feel like the customer is qualified, then they'll create a job within that customer account to then start doing the estimating process. So that's definitely an option for you. And then you're tracking the relationship here. One view that you can create to track your customer relationship is a Kanban view. So you can create a custom field in your customer account and then look at your customers by status in a view like this. Again, this is where I'm tracking my relationship with the customer leading up to the job. So you'll notice I have all of these phases here and then I can move my customers between these phases as I'm starting to qualify whether or not they'd be a good customer to move forward with. Then when you're ready, you could go into your jobs tool and then this is where all your jobs are going to be tracked, regardless if you create that job in the customer account or if you create it right here in the jobs tool. Now you'll see that each of these jobs could be associated with the same customer or with different customers and then you'll also be able to track these jobs and their phases if you add a custom field and then create a Kanban view like this. So now when I'm creating the job, I'm noting if it's pre-construction, so we're still in the sales phase, and then we move into active, closed, lost, etc. So you can set up the job phases to track the job cycle here. Now, one question that you'll need to ask yourself is, do you want to create a customer account, track all the qualifying information in that customer account, and then create jobs once they're qualified, and then you can move forward through like the estimating and contract phase, or would you prefer to create a job on the spot at the beginning and track all the qualifying information within that job before building the estimate and sending out the contracts? So you have those two options. If you are to choose the latter option where you create the job right away, then you'll go into your job directory and you'll create a job here. On the spot, you can either create a new customer or choose an existing customer from JobTrend. And if you choose to create a new customer, you're adding the job site location and the contacts right here while you're adding all of your job details. This will then again create that job right away while you're creating the customer account. Then you can track all of your qualifying information within the job and then move straight through the project whether or not you win the job. If you choose that route, I encourage you to set up a Kanban view with all of your sales pipeline as well as your job phases in one big view to track all your projects from start to finish. This way you can keep your customer directory just for your customer contact information and quick access to details. But then here in the job section is where you're tracking your jobs from start to finish. I hope this is helpful for you as you're starting to think about how you want to build out your sales pipeline in JobTread. If you need any guidance or direction, contact your customer success manager, or you can email support at jobtread.com and we'll be sure to help.